Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing part one of my humongous IMATS haul. So if you guys don't already know, IMATS basically stands for the International Makeup Artist Trade Show. So we flew out to LA last Friday and I attended Saturday and Sunday for IMATS and they basically have like a ton of discounts. So I took it as an opportunity to grab stuff I really wanted. I grabbed some stuff for you guys. So I'll be showing you some like giveaway sneak peeks and it was so much fun I also met so many of you guys there and honestly it's so hard to like put into words like how amazing it is to be able to meet people that you know support me and watch my channel and you know you guys came up to me and even said hey to snow and we're like oh my gosh you know we see you in snapchats and stuff I don't know it just meant so much to me and I loved chatting with you guys and seeing like what all you were picking up so anyways before I like get into all that I'm sure I'll talk more about my experience in my January favorites but if you are new to my channel then welcome to my channel make sure before you leave you do not forget to subscribe down below that way you're notified for future videos for me I post twice a week so I post on Sundays and Wednesdays and then I throw in a couple bonus videos here and there but yeah there's a lot of stuff in this haul but part two is probably going to be even bigger so make sure that you turn on the little bell at the bottom of the screen that way it notifies you guys when part two goes up because like I said it's even going to be bigger than part one but yeah let's go ahead and get started so you guys one really cool thing at IMATS both days I got to hang out with my friend Trisha from A Glittery Life and she also is posting two hauls because we did some major damage it was so much fun getting to chat with her about makeup I trust her opinion like 100% she's one of the youtubers that I like always make sure I'm catching up with her videos because she loves high-end makeup like I do and she always has awesome recommendations so after this video I'm gonna leave her channel linked down below for you guys but make sure that you check her I'm at haul out and make sure you let her know I sent you she had like a lot of influence on some of these purchases some on the first day and then a lot on the second day and I will try my best to tell you guys like the kind of discounts that they had in case you plan on going to the one in New York okay so the first stop for me was Namie's and I was so excited about Namie's Namie's every year they do like a 40% discount on everything in their little section they have Laura Mercier, they had Artist Couture, they had Cover Effects, they had Lorac, they had Lime Crom, Flutter Lashes, and Beauty Blender. Oh, and they had Bobbi Brown too. So I grabbed a couple things. The first thing I grabbed is the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder, and this is in the shade Golden Light. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is one of my favorite Holy Grail bronzers, and the one that I have is actually broken. So I was so excited to see it at IMATS, so that way I could pick up a new one. This one's absolutely gorgeous. I think it works well in a lot of skin tones, and I like to use it in my kit as well. There's what it looks like up close and here is a swatch of that on the hand as you can see it's just a really pretty like natural toned bronzer and i love it and it was 40 percent off so i could not say no when i saw that bobby brown was in that corner okay the next thing i got i actually picked up for you guys and this is the smashbox cover shot palette this is the golden hour and out of all of the palettes there I liked this one the most. I've been trying to grab you guys stuff for like an upcoming giveaway that I plan on doing. So I grabbed two for the next giveaway. And you guys have been so sweet about my current giveaway going on the 100,000 subscriber one that I just really want to do more giveaways as much as I can because I just love giving back to you guys. And if you haven't checked it out, I'll leave that down below. Next thing I got is another bronzer. And this is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. And here's what it looks like in the packaging so my friend Amanda that works at my local Sephora I actually had her do my foundation and powder this one day and she used this on me and I really liked it packaging is just like their normal packaging it's just like a brown package but the color is really pretty so I got the shade number four and I got this obviously for a bronzer I really am regretting not getting another color for like my overall setting powder but here's what this looks like and it's just a really like finely milled powder. As you can see, it has like a really pretty tone to it. And it's a little bit lighter than the Bobbi Brown. So there's that one in the middle and this is the number four. And as always, I'll leave everything linked down below in case you guys wanna check anything out. Got my paper towels, got my makeup removers. <laughs> 
The next booth I went to was actually Dose of Colors. And you guys, they had some really good deals. They had way better deals than what they had last year. Last year, basically everything at Dose of Colors was like 20% off. But this year, they had it marked down like even more. So one thing that I was able to snag is the ice cream palette. And here's what the packaging looks like. And don't worry, I grabbed you guys two for a giveaway as well. They said that once these are sold out that they're not going to be available anymore. And it was actually 50 percent off so I was like oh yeah I've been looking at this palette and now I need it so when you open it up it has a really like nice mirror and here's a close-up of all the shades honestly I'll go ahead and swatch some of these for you guys but they actually swatch like pretty nice so I was like heck yes I'm glad that I've waited to get it and now I'm getting 50% off like you cannot beat that the colors are really pretty so here are these swatched on the fingers and here they are swatched on the hand honestly like with the color selection I definitely think that this palette would be more of like a summertime palette for me I can't really see myself like rocking these shades in the winter um, and then they also have this really pretty gold I want to swatch it really quick too it's called banana split oh look at that pigmentation they said that I think hopefully they're going to be making a new palette soon too. So I will have to be on the lookout for that. But this is my first dose of colors palette. So I'm excited to try it out. While I was there, I also got some lipsticks. Their lipsticks were running about $13 a piece. And I swear I thought that I got another stone. But I did get Rosebud, which is a newer shade. And I got two of the stone colors for a giveaway. That's one of my like favorite, favorite shades ever is Dose of Color Stone. So I'll go ahead and swatch the rosebud so you guys can see it. It's actually what I'm wearing today on my lips. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It honestly is very similar to stone, but just a little bit different where I needed both. <laughs> so here's that color swatch right there, and that is Rosebud by Dose of Colors. I'm pretty sure that the girl said it was one of the newer shades in their collection. They had some other newer shades, but honestly, I wasn't like too impressed. And then what they also did is if you did purchase something from the Dose of Colors booth, they gave you a little free gift. I'm not gonna swatch these because again, I'm gonna save these for you guys, but really pretty shades. So the first thing you got is this beautiful Dose of Colors like lip gloss. It is pink and shimmery. And then you also got a Cha Cha Pink lipstick. And I'll roll this up just so you guys can see it. But there's a shade of that lipstick. And again, that was a free gift, which I thought was really nice. The year before, I don't like remember any other brands having free gifts. So I was super excited whenever I saw it came with this. And I really hope I can find the other Dose of Colors stone. That way I can keep it because I bought three so I can keep one of them. Okay, next I went over to the Nigel's booth. And I remember Nigel's last year had like some really sick discounts. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and check them out. Last year they carried Kevin Aquan and they had it again this year so I was super excited they had Kevin Aquan at 40% off which is like unheard of okay so the first thing I got is something I've been wanting forever but I could just not justify the price tag and it is the Kevin Aquan Neo bronzer you guys I got the color Capri and it is gorgeous it retails for $58 and I think it was like 34 or so I'm at so I was like yes girl I have got to get that so this is what the palette looks like you have a bronzer a blush and a highlight so you're getting like three for one and the shades are gorgeous really pretty they had another one but the other one like basically the only difference was the blush and for me I thought that this blush looked a little bit better with my skin tone let me actually swatch the highlight on like the bigger finger here are the swatches of those three shades okay there are those colors up close and personal they are really pretty they feel very very buttery and I'm so excited to use them and I think Kevin Aquan's coming out with some highlights like a highlight palette like the same kind of concept so I'm excited about that then I finally picked up his highlighter and this is in the color candlelight I've saw so many people rave about this and it's so dang expensive that I've never purchased it I think it ended up coming up to like $24 or so with the discount but this is what the packaging looks like like how tiny is this for how much it cost right Whew. And there's what the inside looks like. And I think I've actually swatched this in store before and it is really pretty. It's not going to give you that like glittery highlight that some people are into. But it is just a really like nice glow. And here's a close up of that shade if you can see it. Okay, so the next things I grabbed I actually purchased for you guys. And these I thought were super cute. 
They're by Beauty Blender and they're called the Line Designer. And I've saw this before. It's basically like a little tool that you can use to kind of help you do a wing liner. And then it comes with a little case and it also comes with like a suction cup. I'm pretty sure the case has a mirror on it so you can like suction cup it to the wall and like stand there and do your wing liner. And I thought those are really cute and I think I only paid like $13 for these so it was a good steal. Anyways, the next thing I got I was so excited about. This is the Impressions Vanity Glow Me. This is like the little selfie ring light that you can put on your phone. Let me show you guys how it works. This I think originally is $45 and I got it for $30 but I was really excited about it and it does make a huge difference. Also I actually have a code with Impressions Vanity. I'll leave it linked down below but it does save you guys 10% if you ever like want to get a vanity mirror or they have like acrylic organizers and chairs and a lot of other stuff. But anyways here's my phone and basically what you do is you just clip it on like this and why don't you guys see how bright it is? I mean, it is pretty bright. So you can take your selfies with this if you want like really good lighting. And there's like different settings on it. You guys probably can't see it. But it gets like brighter as you like click up. And I like that you can actually charge it. You don't have to have like batteries for it because that can be really annoying. So yeah, the Glow Me. I'm really excited about this. I mean, I know it's not a makeup item, but I was excited. Okay, the next thing I actually haven't opened yet, but I was standing in line for Nigel's and one of the girls that works at Face Tori came up to me and she was so super sweet. So if you're watching this, then thank you so much for coming up to me. And she actually gave me this little box. She said there was sheet mask in it. So I'm really excited. I haven't opened it, so I'll open it with you guys. And honestly, I've never done a sheet mask. I've did the like eye masks that are like a sheet material but I've never done an actual sheet mask so I'm very excited. Oh my gosh this is so cute so it has like a little note in it when you open it up and it says hello thank you and welcome to Face Tori our sheet mask. Junkies are always on the lookout for hidden gems and what's new in Korean sheet mask world so you can up your sheet mask and experience. Oh and it has a discount code for you guys. So it says the code IMATS20 will get you 20% off your first box. That's a good deal. I'm going to leave this down below if you guys want to check them out. And let's look at these sheet masks. All right. Oh, wow. This is actually like a lot of sheet masks. Holy cow. Thank y'all so much. Okay. It came with this many sheet masks. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be sheet masking for days, weeks, months. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first one is the O Zubair and it says this is an illuminating mask and here's what that one looks like. And then there is a collagen booster mask. We have a water glow injection. These are like really neat. This one says it's a pearl modeling full mask. Oh, and it actually like looks like a full like tin mask down there. You see that? This one actually has like three steps in it. And then the bottom one is a water bomb mask. Here's what that one looks like. And then we have a lightning tone up mask. And then we have a hydra gel mask. So I am going to be testing these out. I will keep you guys updated. I honestly might have to use that code for myself and order some more of these after I try them out because they're all like so different, but they're so interesting. Let me look up and see how those boxes work. So I actually just went ahead and looked them up really quick and I looked up their Instagram and it's actually a subscription that you can do and it's only $14.95 and you get seven masks a month or you can do a different box that's four masks. That is a really good deal. So yeah, I'll leave that information linked down below, but I am so excited to start trying these out. Yes, thank you, Face Tori. <laughs> Honestly, my skin's been a little bit crazy since I've been back, so I might be doing one of these after I film. Last thing that I did get from Nigel, sorry, I almost left this out. I did get one of the Biodermas, and this is like the pink one, and I love this to take off my eye makeup. And also, it's the one that has a pump, so that's like the best one. And here's a close-up of that. Literally the best eye makeup remover I've ever used. Okay, the next place I went is House of Lashes. And they actually gave you this, like, really cute little, like, duffel bag whenever you bought something. The deals there were pretty good. I mean, I think they were probably, like, 25, 20% off. I mean, it was okay. But here's one thing I noticed. And I know I'm not crazy. I showed you guys on Snapchat. I got six total lashes and they were $42. So I got the three pack for 21 and I think it's normally like 30. 
but they have changed the way that they make the iconic lashes so I got them today and I went to put some on before I filmed and they do not look right on my eyes at all so I grabbed an old pair and for some reason or another like they're just different they look like they're almost like double stacked I mean they look the same from the top but like I said I compared them to like my other ones and they definitely didn't really look the same <laughs> I don't know if I'm like crazy I don't know they almost look like they're a little bit like harder lashes but yeah I did get six total lashes from them and the reason why is because I went to Coco Lashes and they were sold out of Goddess. I should have went there the first day and I put it off. So yeah, definitely got some House of Lashes iconic. Hopefully I can make these work. <laughs> Fingers crossed. The next thing I got actually Trisha talked me into and I got this from Smith Cosmetics and I've wanted this for a while for my kit but I got the Smith Cosmetics Smith Folio and oh my gosh you guys this is going to be so bomb for my kit. I don't know like how much it was on sale for. Honestly I don't even remember if it was on sale but here's what it looks like and it's a case that you can hold all of your brushes on especially like if you're a makeup artist and you're on jobs it is awesome it fits so many brushes okay so when you open it up it actually comes with two of the brush slots this side of course is going to fit really small brushes and you could even do like eyeliners and then this side is going to fit more like medium sized brushes you do get two that actually come with it when you buy it and then i also picked up per trisha's suggestions two of the other like inserts that you can get with it okay so this is the first insert that i picked up this is the bigger one it has room for like bigger brushes like your foundation brushes or just like big powder brushes and then the other one that i picked up is the double sided one so it has two sides for all your brushes and everything all together i think was 90 dollars um like i said i'm really not sure how much this is regularly or if it was discounted their discounts i think were 20 percent but really excited to put this in my kit so thank you Trisha for all the suggestions she is super great especially when it comes to advice for makeup in your kit and she also has a what's in my kit video for anybody that's like a makeup artist or you really just want suggestions for your kit I'll try to leave that link down below too because it's a really informative video oh my gosh you guys I almost forgot about the Visart palette Viseart however you say them I got two of the new palettes at Muse Beauty Pro. So excited for these. These are the brand new ones and I love their eyeshadows. Their neutral matte is like one of my favorite Holy Grail eyeshadow palettes. So here's the new one right here. They just came out with it. And I believe this was $60 plus tax and they're normally $80. So you got like $20 off and I'm so excited to use these colors. If you guys want, let me know down below if you want a full review and swatch video of this one and then the other little one the little one I think retails for $34 look how cute and mini but again they had it on sale I think it was $24 at the show so here's what this little eyeshadow palette looks like but you know I'm glad that they made something that's more of like an affordable price point $34 really isn't that bad. You are getting to try out quite a few shades. And honestly, like who normally uses a whole eyeshadow? So really excited about that. And like I said, let me know if y'all want a full swatch video on both of those palettes. I would normally swatch a lot of this stuff, but I feel like I got so much that I don't want this video to be five hours long. <laughs> and here's a little eye mats bag that I got. I forgot to show you guys that. Pure Cosmetics was actually at eye mats. I did not get a chance to go buy their booth, but I did actually get some of their eye polishes sent to me from Pure Cosmetics and Octali. I wanted to actually go ahead and show those to you guys since we are still doing a haul. And like I said, they were at eye mats. But anyways, they sent me six of their eye polishes and I've swatched these before in Ulta. So whenever I got these, I was so excited. So each of the eye polishes comes with a little brush and it comes with a little paint pot of the eye polish and it comes with an individual brush for each one which I think is really nice let's go ahead and do some swatches let me like roll up my sleeve oh yes so one thing that I would probably use these for is you can use them as a base or you can put shadow over top of them or you can wear them by themselves look at that color this is probably my favorite what color is this 
This is called Satin. Do you guys see this? Like, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. The next one is called Silk. And the pots are really pretty. I really like the fact that whatever color is in the like pot, they have on the outside of the cap. And it has like a little net too. So you literally just put the brush inside the net. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Why have I not bought these before? Oh my gosh. Like I swatched them really quick one time when I was in Ulta, but I did not have a chance to like really play with them. So again, that next color is called Silk. Ooh, I have a feeling these are gonna end up in some favorites. I like just like stuff that you can do really fast, especially in the morning, like if you're in a hurry getting ready. Oh wow, this is going to be gorgeous. And like, look at how much product comes out, like whenever you like press it down. Like that's one swipe. Pigment it! I'm like still rubbing them around just so that way you guys can see like the full effect of them. I mean, do you guys see how pigmented that is? That one's called caviar. I mean, I cannot get over these. So here's the next one. And again, that color is called cashmere. Very pretty. Honestly, though, this one felt a little bit different than the other ones. It was a little bit more dry, but I think it was because the way I had it setting, some of it had like moved to the side, so I couldn't get a whole lot on the brush. But yeah, that one's called cashmere. They're just all so gorgeous. Here is the color suede right there. That would be so pretty. I mean, all of these are just so gorgeous. There is the last one. Do you guys see that pigment there? Oh, here's a close up of that one. Sorry, I'm like awkward arm, but that one's called velvet. But you guys, super impressed by these. I cannot wait to use them on the lid. And they dry super fast. Like they're already dry. When I touch them, you can get just a little bit of like a faint like sparkle. But they already dried. So, yeah, thank you so much to Octali, and thank you to Pure Cosmetics for sending me those to try out. And if you went by the Pure Boost, let me know what you got down below. And that's going to wrap up part one of my iMats haul. Honestly, normally what I do is, like, I always think that I have so much in my first haul. But honestly, part two is probably going to be even bigger. So make sure that you guys are subscribed, that you hit the alarm button so you're notified when it goes up. Because I will be getting that up within the next week. So anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.